Hi folks, this is McGill over here. Um, so I've got this contraption set up, so hopefully this will video okay. It's a wet day outside, so I can't do a PE video, so I'm going to do an art one. Um, and this is Mark making warm-up. And you could fill a whole lesson with this, you could muck around with it at home. Um, art is Mark making, that's pretty much all it is. So we are going to do it as a warm-up and you could do it in partners or you could just do it yourself. You could probably do it in a small group. Anyway, just let's just go on with it. We're going to use or we're going to use an HB pencil only because most of you that's what you use in school. It's quite a hard lead. It's it's I've used it here to there's a wee mark there to mark how where my paper should be where the screen can see it. So it's kind of good for that. It doesn't smudge. Um, but other than that, you know, um, yeah, it's okay. It's good for writing. And then we're going to use a 6B, which is really soft lead. So the higher up with Bs it goes, 6, 8, 9B, it gets the lead is really soft and gorgeous. Now, you, I know you guys have got charcoal in school um, because, I, because we use it. Um, I don't have the same stuff that you guys have, so mine is a wee bit harder. But yours will probably, yours will probably work better actually for this because it'll smudge easier. So I've got what's called compressed charcoal. So let's get rid of that box. So the warm up is get rid of these things. I've I've tried to find some A4 paper at my printer because that's what I know you guys have got. So we are just gonna. Yeah, you know, I'm going to put some marks on the paper, um, but you would do the ones that you want. You're not going to follow what marks I make. This is, you know, you're just going to try out your own. So I am, this is HB, which is quite a hard lead. So I'm going to do kind of dashes. So dash, 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 dash. Going to do slower ones. Dash, 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 dash. I'm going to do a push down, ease off. Push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down. I'll do that again because I really like that one. Push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down. Um, and then maybe a crisscross one where you go, you sort of slash down the way and you come up the way. Okay, so just a sort of X. And you're not necessarily, maybe you could be doing something like this, which is much more uh, the same throughout or it's up to you, it's, you're going to do what you want. Um, and then I'm going to push you to use your left hand and you're just going to take your left hand from one side and I'm definitely pushing it across the page, it feels really weird. And it's just a flat, just push on flat. But then the next time, maybe try and push down, you can see it's pushing on the paper and then ease off again. And push down and then ease off again. Push down and then ease off again, and then maybe do that a few times. I actually really see this is why we do this because look what you get you get the most gorgeous, gorgeous type of line. So push down, ease off. Very little control, but it's fantastic. Push down, ease off. Try and make it gradual if you can. You don't have to, you can decide on your own stuff. I'm going to do this for a third time just because I'm quite enjoying doing it. Push down, ease off, push down, there we go. And then maybe what I'm going to do next, change hands. And I'm going to do the same thing really. Um, but I'll feel more controlled, but it might not look any better. So my proper hand, you know, my dominant hand is going to be push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. Do a few times, push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. And one more last time, push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. It's just different, that's all it is. What about kind of, uh, I think this should probably be maybe about the last one. So um, let's see what we can do about pressure. So pressure and come off, pressure and come off, pressure, it's a very similar thing. Pressure and come off, pressure, pressure and come off, pressure and come off. Press, come off, press, come off, press. And then maybe the last one to make this roughly half a page. Do we sort of loop the loop? So loop. There we go. So what we've got is quite a grey, I think, 
grey mark making. You know, you can still you can still see gradual kind of uh, coming right off the paper and then gradually going back in. So that's quite nice. <clears throat> And you can see the left-handed one actually, for me the best one. I'm going to go straight on to the 6B. I'm going to try and make this really short and sweet. So 6B, this is really just to show you how the pencil is almost completely different. I don't know if this will come up in the video so well, but if you try this, you will see the softness of this has. So I'm going to follow the same sort of thing on this bottom bit here. So I'm going to do uh, dash, 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 dash. Straight away I can see that it's darker. Uh, and then what was the second one? I can't remember now. Uh, I think it was just push down and come off, push down and come off. Look at that. What a difference. My gosh. And it's the same size of pencil. I've, I've probably sharpened it slightly differently, but and that and that just doesn't compare anymore. And then we've got a wave. So pushing down, easing off. Pushing down, easing off. Pushing down, you just keep going. This is a bit like uh, that's entangle. You don't really think about it. We do actually. But um, it's quite relaxing. And push down, same again. I don't I always like doing three of these. I think it's because you can see the echo effect. Um, and look, I mean, look at that compared to this. It's just, for me anyway, there's a lot more in this. Um, what have we got next? We've got a left-hander here, haven't we? That was a left-hand line, I think. So just push it across the page and you'll be... Yep. And then you're gonna, this is the, the when I say left-hander, my apologies to all the left-handers, I'm really sorry. Non-dominant hand, the hand you don't like or don't feel comfortable with, the one that you don't normally use for writing. So push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. Every time I ease off, I get a wee bump, but that's what makes it really nice. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. I just, I, I just love this. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. Push down, ease off. That is definitely my favourite. Um, what's the next one? Is this kind of jaggedy, wavy sort of thing? Oh no, it's not. It's the proper, your normal hand, your dominant hand again. Same thing. So. Push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. So I'm getting a bit faster now. I'm worried you guys are not interested uh, in watching this for too long, so I'm trying to speed up a little bit. Push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. One more time. Push down, ease off, push down, ease off, push down, ease off. Leave it there. Totally different to that, but that's because you're certain with what you're, you're more certain. So you don't have that wee, that wee bumpy, bumpy, bumpy bit, but actually the nicest part about this is the bumpy bit. Um, yeah, the wavy bit now. So this is the, this is the ease off, push down to make that wee curve. Again, and we're just a couple of these. There's the energy from that because you know you can see the ends disappearing there's a, the texture changes because it, because it's a 6b you can't see much texture change in here even though you're coming off it you can see it comes to a thinner end sharper end but in here there's a texture that really gives it the energy and then there's loop loop so loop loop so yeah so i don't know if i should hold that up or not Right, if you, do, if you see it the way I'm, I'm seeing it, I don't know if it's going to work. To me, looking at this in real life, I can see a huge difference between the two pencils. So, first one is HB, pretty hard. Generally, you get a grey look to it. But if you don't want things to smudge, um, that you're marking something, marking the position of something, then you'd want an HB or an H pencil. H's go harder and harder and harder. And then the second was eight, 6B, which is really soft lead, really lovely. However, we are now going on to mark making with charcoal. So, my charcoal. Now, I'm going to turn this round. I'm going to get a piece of newsprint if I can find a bit actually for this. Hi hey folks, so we're, we're on the charcoal now, so a bit of charcoal, and a bigger paper, so maybe A2 or A3, and you have to stand up for this because you really, some of the time you're going to be using um, your whole arm, um, but definitely not just 
you know, use it. This is very much just using your fingers or maybe your hand, sometimes maybe from the shoulder or the elbow, but probably not. This is much more to do with using gestural movements and your arm. So anyway, let's start with the same sort of, you don't have to, but dash, dash, dash. So dash, 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 dash. Um, push down, ease off. The wave, push down, come up, push down, come up, push down, come up, push down, come up. That's, I mean, the charcoal just is gorgeous, or the compressed charcoal, I should say. And it's just pressure, lightness, pressure, lightness. Um, left hand one was a favourite, so let's try that one again. Don't have to try the same things, I'm just sticking to the same, see what the differences are. So let's just not do the line across, let's just do the change pressure. Push down, push down, you will have to hold it, and then come up, push down, and then come up, push down, and then come up, push down. I'm actually bending my knees to get this done. Push down, come up, push down, come up, push down. So it's not, so okay, so I'm not using really my shoulder here or my elbow or whatever but i am actually using my knees to push down just that it's pretty okay to me um here's more of a gesture on with a wave so we're going to go up and then down and then let's just keep going down because that's got quite a nice uh, quite a nice dynamic to it quite a nice energy if you want to do what we did before which was up and down push and down push, and down push, a wee bit different. Um, and then the loop, the loop, the loop. Again, I'm, I'm continuing to push down, and push down, and push down. And maybe to finish, this is what I'm talking about, you push, straight across, push, straight across. But this is the kind of work making we're not maybe used to making because we don't have the large bits of paper so much. Um, okay, so here's where You've got this gorgeous charcoal, but we don't leave it there. You're, hopefully it can be sprayed and it won't, you know, it'll stay where it is. But you could make this line faster just by whoosh, a couple of times. It makes it faster straight away. What could you do here? You could, you, well, you could just do what you did in the first place without any charcoal in your hand. And you could just re-emphasize these dark bits and you will be getting some of the grey from your finger that's dragging the charcoal across and you could almost start drawing without anything but keep going with the same and really pressurise, push, pull, not so much pulling, more pushing. Uh, maybe you could just fill in the bottom of the wave bits. We're not trying to make this look like anything, we're just seeing what happens when we put marks on the paper. And uh, the charcoal is so soft, it will, you know, it'll move around for you. So this one again, tempting just to go fast across it, or maybe we'll put pressurise, come up, pressurise, come up, pressurise, come up, pressurise, come up, pressurise, come up. Maybe we'll just go right across, that one actually looks better. You've got to try these things out yourself. Maybe the same thing, coming down the way, in that sort of shallow U shape. Okay, what will we do here? Uh, you could take your nail, see what happens if you go right across it. You will, yeah, so it's pushing the charcoal. It's like it's moving very quickly. Here, let's try sort of smudging one side of it. So the left-hand side of the loop. Let's see what happens. It's quite nice, if it almost 3D. In fact, talking about 3D, not so flat anymore. And this, can you, you could get, see, you can get something else in here. So the charcoal isn't finished once you've got it on the paper. Right, next one. Next one. This is uh, another sort of fastish one. I've got to remember what you can see. Can you see up there? Yep, yeah, okay. So let's try just mark making to the point where we turn this on its side. Maybe get this a slightly longer one. So, can you see that? Yes. So, on the side, and then just, again, you're doing nothing more than mucking around. Twist it. Twist it. Do something with it. Maybe put it, that's the flat bit there. I've created that from there, so maybe I'm going to put it on its edge now. Oh, look. No, 
wave. The waves do it themselves. But I'm doing nothing here, but look what I'm getting. Yeah, that's so, so easy. Let's, let's do the waves I did before to see how it compares. So, yeah, it's very different now because you're on the whole of that flat edge. Probably, you know, yeah. Okay, so what else will we do? We just go up, across, very sharp, very sharp edge there, thick. I'm not doing anything, I'm just pushing the thing I have in front of me. Yeah. And again, what will happen if you start mucking around with, with this? You know, you, you could end up with anything here. I don't know, I could go on and on forever, so I shouldn't really, should I? But yeah, you, you I just want to keep going really. Well, this is such a nice one. Don't really want to touch it, do you? But it's like a ribbon. It's like a ribbon already there. Um, squidge, squidge this one a bit, maybe. Squidge. Maybe do another wave. Maybe do something completely. Like, I mean, I've already got something else in there. Just from the charcoal that's already. So all I'm doing in this is making marks on the paper and this is how we build up a kind of understanding of what, what we're going to end up with. I hope we might. Usually the mistakes are always the best things. Okay, th I promise you this is the last sheet of paper now, if I have one. I'm going to have to use an A4 because I think that's all the newsprint I had. Um, lovely white bit of paper. But really, we're not worried about making a mess on it because that's what art is. So let's do something really simple. All my art guys know that I like doing oranges. <laughs> Suck the owner. Kind of, so I've got three interlinking circles there and I'm having to use my arm, shoulder, whatever to make these, to make this image. So now I'm just going to sculpt with what I've got because we're still making marks and see what I can come up with. And I'm not really thinking too much about it. Um, but I'm just maybe trying to make these slightly less flat. Maybe trying to create a bit of, you know, like form, like it's really something that's round that's in front of me. But a shadow always helps a little bit. Um, I'm sort of running out of charcoal now, but I've got this there, that's okay. I can use that. And if I want a wee bit more, maybe I'll use the thick one. Just, you know, one little bit. Oh, it just smears it all. It's gorgeous. Maybe another secondary shadow here. Yeah, that's all right. So, you know, let's just sort of keep going, really. <laughs> you guys can go off and do what you want. I'll just keep, I'll just keep playing with this. You can see there's little bits of the charcoal sort of loose. There's a bit there. Um, you know, don't blow that off the paper. Bring it up and then put it into the bin. Anyway, so slightly more rounded, like a ball, like an orange, like an apple type thing. Um, and just because I've smudged it in a certain way. So, mark making. That is it, really. It can be used as a warm up, warm down. You could spend the whole, you could spend years doing this and just muck around, as I keep saying. It seems to be my favourite saying right now, muck around. Um, but just to repeat before I finish, charcoal, which you've got in school, HBs, I know you've got these in school because they're all over the place, because people keep losing them. <laughs> and, and I love the 6B, which you have to persuade your teacher, or if you're a teacher watching this, you have to get some for your class. Uh, 8Bs, 6Bs, 4Bs are pretty good as well. Um, you know, um, I, th I, I don't know where it goes up to. I've got a 9B in here. Um, but they're, they're gorgeous. Every school should have them. Okay, folks, if I can put that off, I hope you have a great time. Mark making, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Folks, I've just added this wee bit extra because I just realised watching this back, of course, you're looking at this upside down. <laughs> so that is not, it doesn't make too much difference in mark making, but every time I said bottom of the waves, really, 
um, you'd be thinking that's the top of the wave. So I just thought I'd show you a photo of how it looks from my perspective. Anyway, have a great day. Enjoy your mark making.